Hello, my name is Michael Oxman, and I am director of BSR's Energy and Extractives team. I've been asked to talk to you about the impact that information and communications technology has had on the energy and extractive sector and will have in the future. Energy and extract it's important to note that energy and extractives operations are located in, in very difficult environments. Um, they're very complex projects, they can be located in challenging geographical settings, and they're often very remote, far away from corporate headquarters and far away from major communication and metropolitan centers. I would categorize the impact of information and communication technologies in three areas. The first would be greater awareness and accountability among all stakeholders. The second would be engagement, greater engagement across what were previously stakeholder boundaries. And the third is a much more focused, we're seeing a focused improvement in results and performance. Energy and extractives projects have extremely large footprints, both positive and negative. And for this reason, this enhances the importance of the first category I wanted to discuss, which is awareness and accountability. We see now networks of previously unconnected groups, individuals, and organizations who are able to coalesce around major issues, major issues associated with this footprint. They may include human rights, they may include jobs, they may include community impacts, and environmental issues such as water and carbon management, to name a few. What does greater awareness and accountability look like uh, in the energy and extractive sector uh, with respect to information and communications technology? The first thing I'd call out is monitoring and metrics. What we see is that companies themselves, as well as their associated stakeholders, whether it's local communities, civil society organizations, individuals, or governments, who, by the way, are increasingly being asked to demonstrate transparency in how the proceeds they receive from projects are being used to serve their populations. I also see that there's much more efficient analysis and of trends and performance by all of these organizations to track impacts. Thirdly, there are social investments that companies make or that are collaborative investments between companies and other stakeholders and there's a greater ability just to, to identify how these investments are having an impact locally. The next point is that, generally speaking, web-based sustainability reporting is either beginning to replace print reports or supplement it. And this provides greater accessibility to a larger group of people. Uh, and finally, the point I'd like to call out is that there's greater investor awareness, mainstream investor awareness of key sustainability challenges as they monitor their company's performance. How has IT increased engagement? The second category that I'd like to discuss and its impacts on sustainability. First of all, it allows communication and dialogue to occur much faster and in, in many cases in real time. And that communication and dialogue straddles geographies, communities, companies, civil society organizations, and a range of others. Let me just provide a few basic examples. One is, if you are an, if you are an investor or a stakeholder or someone concerned about a project, you can go online to the company website or public websites um, and find detailed environmental and social impact assessments. Secondly, you can track you can check project progress. So from a company standpoint, you're interested in knowing where your permits stand. From a community standpoint, you're interested in understanding whether the, what's coming next, when these project impacts are going to occur, how do they prepare themselves, what infrastructure is necessary. Finally, the companies themselves can track permits and ensure that the project is moving forward in a timely manner. Communities and governments are interested in this too because any delay in these projects results in a delay of uh, monetary benefits. And lastly, it, it, the information technology has increased the sophistication of grievance mechanisms. Grievance mechanisms are an important way of maintaining an established means of communication among local communities, including indigenous communities, and the projects that they affect. And these grievance mechanisms with the information technology can be increasingly culturally sensitive and appropriate using a variety of information and communication technology tactics. So the last point I'd like to touch on, and probably the most important, is how does information technology 
increase the, the likelihood of achieving social and environmental objectives. There's a number of examples here, and I'll just point out a few. One is, uh, in local communities, access to employment opportunities among these large operations is enhanced through the availability of information and communications technology. Uh, taking a look at company websites, as well as, as, well as other means of, of advertising available positions, provides uh, greater opportunity for, for local residents. Similarly, information and communications technology has been used to create enterprise centers and e-procurement systems that allow local suppliers to both understand company standards immediately and apply for competitive bid situations, and or they can connect with other large international suppliers and perhaps subcontract sub with them. We've seen many successes in this regard in a number of geographies. The other area I would touch on is management systems within companies. These are complex multi-billion dollar projects and without information and communications technology the sustainability opportunities and challenges associated with these projects would be difficult to achieve. So the increasing focus and deployment of, of these management systems has improved the achievement of social and environmental objectives. Finally, I'd like to point out that information and communications technology could be one of the largest factors in improving social and environmental performance among these industries. It enables communication, it enables engagement, it enables improvements in management systems, it enables focus. With, these, with this technology, companies and their stakeholders will be able to work together to achieve opportunities as well as to meet a range of challenges. Thank you.